Welcome back. It's been months since we last participated in Byoyomi Survival Sumo Shogi Problems and Problem Collections on Play Shogi. Uh, last time I did this particular Suma and 3 challenge here, it took me 35 minutes to complete. Uh, but let's see if today I can do any better. So with that, um, yeah, let's start a timed run. Each of these puzzles is going to be a mate in 3. Uh, so there's the king. There's all the pieces in the opponent's hand. And I ain't got nothing here. How is this mate? Am I not missing a piece? Oh, right. Uh, I can drop this here. There we go. I've got a special user style installed that helps me um, better recognize the pieces, and they just look a little bit more beautiful this way. At some point, I'll figure out how to properly integrate these pieces into the website, uh, make some good code contributions, but today is not that day. Today we are just solve shogi um, puzzles. And maybe beat my time 35 minutes, if I'm lucky. Uh, since there's a hundred-something of these, it's not going to be easy. Every move has to be check. So, let's see. Yeah, this distracts either of those two pieces. Depending which one moves, this is checkmate or on... Yeah, okay. And then here, we need to prevent the king from escaping when we block our own bishop. Here, let's see. Strange. Oh, okay, I see it. My my mouse likes to double click sometimes, so occasionally I will miss a click. When I click on a piece, it changes color because the way I've installed the style is kind of weird. Um. So this fully encases the king. Here. Yeah, again, we need to prevent the king from running when we check. Or, yeah, there we need to deflect the lance. Here, prevent the king from running. Drop a gold, that's mate. Here, uh, check. I was thinking silver up, not promoting. Yeah, that is checkmate. Very good. Here... Uh, the typical just sack the rook idea doesn't seem so alluring this time. Um, well, it's not necessary. Yeah, this is adequate. Either way, interesting. Two mates at the end there. Um, hmm. This is surprisingly tricky. So if we check there with the pawn the king takes and there's not a mate in one. If the silver goes back and the king takes it, there's not a mate in one. So we have to like drop the rook somewhere. Oh, that's cool. Well, yeah, like I said, it's been months since we've done this, so I've forgotten some of the solutions. I have to figure them out all over again. Um... Hmm. So we vacate this square so gold can checkmate. Golds are really good pieces at checkmating the king. Um, this is just brute force, as is this. This one... Hmm. Oh, we have to vacate the square where the knight's at, so we can drop this where the knight's at. Okay. Check. Yeah, we promote to checkmate. Very good. Uh, let's see what else. Need to remove the rook so I can drop a knight here. Is that the idea? Let's 
it's kind of amazing just how bad Rook is at delivering the final mate in general. Surround the king, and the knight mates it. Uh, surround the king from the front, and then a gold mates it. Uh, oh, this one was fun the last time we did it. That's a weird cluster of pieces. Okay. Wait, no, not that one. We have to use the bishop there. Um, and the, depending which piece takes it, the gold mates. We have to draw up the king so there's not a block. Here, to draw up the gold so it cannot block. Here, we don't have anything to draw. Um, king takes, okay, yeah, king takes rook mates that way, otherwise the rook mates up here, or bishop mates there. Uh, check and mate. Okay. Um, check here, mate there. Okay, we surround the king. And depending, oh shit, I was not paying enough attention apparently. I'm in such, such a hurry here. I really want to beat my old record. I don't care if I make it on the leaderboard or not, I just want to see some level of improvement. That shows that maybe I've learned something. Or maybe I'm just remembering these problems and forgetting some of the... I'm just not aware that I'm remembering it. Um, okay. Hmm. Depending which piece takes here, there's two different mates. Okay. Depending which piece takes here, there's two different mates. Tokian covers the interposition square. Uh, oh, this is weird. Oh no, we have to draw the king over into that. Here king is simply surrounded. Many would just say walled off instead of surrounded, so maybe I should talk about it that way. Uh, yeah, here the king just has nowhere to go. Here... I have two pieces. Oh, I have to take the lance. This gives me the third piece I need. Uh, this draws the king into a spot where that mates. I thought we saw that problem once already. Um, surround the king. Here. Well, that's cute. I struggled with that last time we did this. Surround the king and checkmate it. Here. Knight drop check was my first thought. Yeah, it draws the gold away, so this mates, or if the king moves, the rook mates on a different square. Um, if the king tries to run away, this gets trickier. Oh, I'm sorry. Do we have to go here? The king has to take, and there we go. Um, well, that's interesting. What's the idea here? So, gold drop, bishop takes, there's no mate. Gold drop, king, three, one. Oh, the bishop's pinned, so the rook can promote to a dragon and checkmate. Or even the gold could mate. No, it can't. It has to be the dragon. Um, okay. 
If I take the gold, then it's not beautiful. Oh, it doesn't mate anyway. Yes, yeah, so we surround the king and the rook's enough there. Here, there's just way too many pieces. Who could use this many pieces anyway? Oh, I see. So the point is the silver can't cover this, so you drop the rook first to get the lance there. That's clever. Okay. And then... This is a focal point. Well, either piece captures here and gold mates accordingly. This is the closest thing we have to a ladder mate. Um, let's see. Surround the king and made it. Surround the king and made it. Uh, if the rook moves back, this king still has this square. Oh, sack the bishop here. Because pieces promote and they check when they do that in some cases. Um, oh, right, force the bishop up here. There we go. We have two pieces to drop and two moves in which to do it. I don't think I'm going to beat my time. It's looking super unlikely. Hmm. Still, it's not bad practice. Ah, let's vacate the way for the lance. Typical Mino checkmate. Okay. Deflect the dragon. Okay. Strange. Oh, yeah, we force the king over. Okay, yeah, they can't defend that. Um, this is a mess. Hmm. This is a mess. Oh. There we go. That surrounds the king. Yeah, if they take the rook, we drop the gold to mate anyway. Um, two knights. This does not give us a wide variety of options. Okay, if the king... Oh, wrong side, I suppose. Like I said, I'm in a rush. I want to demonstrate improvement. Um, they have to take this. Okay. Oh, right. This is straightforward, but it gets me every time that you use the pieces that you capture. Because that's how the game works. It's a really fundamental mechanic without which you will struggle. So if I drop the knight there, the king steps up and I don't have a mate. Oh! Okay, this hems in the king. That's nice. Um, I feel like I've solved that one already. Okay, and the knight here does not promote. Now what? Oh, the king is surrounded. I appreciate that there's this wide variety of problems here. Some of which 
don't involve just throw away the rook. Um, it's often a first impulse here to throw away the rook and see, like, hopefully it mates. Um, yes, yeah, so here, since there's no lance in the corner, that works. It's an unusual thing. Oh, and then rook or dragon and silver mate in that shape. Um, hmm. Oh, right, we can force the king into the corner and mate it there. Here, surround the king and mate. Oh, that's cute. There's no... Yeah, the one space gap dragon is more effective than other dragons. Interesting. I missed that, but yeah, this mates. Um... Hmm. I mean, that's got to mate somehow, right? Okay, can lure the king out again. Rook drop here does not seem to work. It has to work because nothing else does, but no, it doesn't work. I missed something else then. Uh, the tell me why button is now appearing, which is a good correction, but it doesn't work in this mode. Because <laughs> uh, I'm on the next problem. Um. Hmm. I have no pieces on my piece stand here. Okay, that's clearly wrong. After I played it, I saw that it was wrong, but what can I do then? It's too late. Um, yeah, silver first there. Okay. Strange. How is this mate in three? That's amazing. Oh, that's my pawn. Okay, that changes things dramatically. Mm hmm. That's cool that a dragon and a pawn together are enough. Okay, this is just a caveman attack. Remove the defender. Uh, yeah, surround the king. There we go. Strange. Can this mates from behind? Hmm. I don't see it. Oh, that's a horse, not a dragon. That might change what I'm willing to try here. Okay. Uh, yeah, I sure could use an... Oh, <laughs> I should not have promoted that. Oops. Do not promote 
There we go. This one is really cute. It took me forever to understand this the first time. Um, okay. I misclicked. That's my bad. Uh, surround the king. Wait a second. That's bizarre. Yeah, okay. This is a really good collection. Where's the mate here? Because some problems have vulgar solutions. It's not always just play the most aesthetically pleasing move. Sometimes in a game... Oh, I confused myself as to what's a dragon and what's a horse. But yeah, sometimes you have to play just what works. You don't just play the beautiful move. You play it's the move that wins. It's nice, though, like when those happen to be the same thing. But sometimes they're not. Hmm. Okay. I am just blind here. I don't see it. I'm making a random guess. And losing that game and moving on. And we'll come back to it when we're in a better mental state. Hang on. The double check is not mate, though. Well, that's my pawn. Silly me. Yeah, that is mate. Okay. That's unusual. Hmm. This is a mess. There we go. Um, forced the king out this way and made it in front. King in the corner, or this way. Um, oh, that's cute. If king takes, there's a pin. I have to drop both pieces to checkmate. Because that's how these problems tend to work. They only give you exactly what you need. Uh, based on which one takes, we drop the gold on the other side. This is enough space to checkmate. Oh, this is fun. Um,
Okay. Interesting. Oh, we forced the king to the corner again. Here. Meet the king in the head. Um. Uh, gold drop does not mate. Hmm. There is a mate somewhere. I'm not seeing it, and I'm kind of mad about it. This should not be so difficult. Surround the king. That's the key. Okay, I just made a random guess because I was overwhelmed. Random guesses don't tend to work very well. Um... Move the gold away. Hmm. Force the king into a mate. Oh, that was careless. I see the mistake now, but it's too late. Thankfully, there's no penalty for, like, repeatedly messing up. So, at least in this mode, there's not. Other than it just takes you some time to get acclimated to the puzzle when you see it again. Um, force them to make a choice at that focal point. And mate there. That's wrong. Oh, they take the pawn. I was too excited. Okay. Um. Hmm. I've seen this before. Okay, surround the king. Surround the king. Continue the effort to surround the king. Um, this is the only check that makes any sense. Hmm. Yeah, this is some kind of a focal point. Okay. Want to use the square at the night. Wait a second, I don't want to mess this up. I've messed that up before. It's not, it's really bad to get that one wrong. Uh, likewise, pieces. Positions where there's only a handful of pieces, you should get right every time. Otherwise, I don't know, you've got stuff to learn. Um, hmm. Oh, this is a double check. You don't see that too often. Is this where they group all the double check problems together? Or is it just those two? I wonder. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
a bishop drop is not going to mate on the next move. So if there's going to be a mate with the bishop drop, we have to drop it right now. But that doesn't work either. I have no idea. I'm kind of mad, just how confused I am here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, this is a nice little crisscross pattern. I was impressed the last time I saw that puzzle, too. Um... Hang on. Hold the phone. This is... Yeah. I have to use both to mate. Um, surround the king once more. Okay. It's kind of amazing that it's take the gold there. Because the gold checkmates from the side, which is kind of not a normal pattern. Um, oh, force the snow? Why was that wrong? Okay. Here, force that away. Oh, both would have worked. I didn't need to be so fancy. So, yeah, force the rook to make a decision. Um, force the knight to make a decision. Again, this is strange. Oh, yeah, if we get the knight moved out of the way, or if the knight doesn't move, then the bishop no longer covers this. Hmm. This isn't mate because the silver covers that mate square. But now this is mate. Uh, oh, wrong square. Now we're going to start cycling through the problems I s failed the first time around. And I still don't know what I'm doing. Other than guessing. Um, oh, that's a rook. Okay, so that mates. Okay, here. Force a decision, and then... Oh, there's the mate. Okay, here. And then, yeah, pay attention to what pieces they have. Here, I dropped the knight on the wrong side. I have to drop it on this side for some reason. Here, um, okay, if the rook takes, we mate there, otherwise the rook mates elsewhere. If 
force the bishop to move away so this can mate. Take the knight. Do not promote knight mates. I'm still perplexed. Is it not this? Is it not that? How did I miss that the first time? I don't know. Um, yeah, this is the answer. Here I'm still <laughs> extremely mad that, like, how can there be a mate here? It's just such a bizarre position. But we surround the king. I probably failed that. I failed that one. Here, this bishop needs to be dropped. So it supports the immediate checkmate. The other move does mate, just not fast enough. Here, the pawns do the mate. Here, I still have no idea. Uh, okay, that is mate. The first time I read that out like five times, and each time concluded that it was wrong, but it is correct. Um, okay, and then here, I dropped on the wrong square. There, I'm still stupid. Okay, what did I miss here? Oh, the knight covers that. All right. Uh, this is decision, and that's mate. Cool. We have solved all the problems in 36 minutes. I don't know if that beats my last record, but if my current record now is 36 minutes 43 seconds, if that's our new record, then that's a new value. Um, see last time that took me 35 minutes this time it took me 36 minutes but i was explaining things as i went so maybe it's not so terrible yeah Oof. well we made it we barely survived do i dare try it again how mad am i well we've got time <laughs> now let's let's do it again maybe we'll do better I'm mad. I am so mad that, like, why did, why was this so difficult? It's because I don't practice enough. Um, yeah. Yeah, so maybe this time I just blitz through it and not try to explain so much along the way, but I'll probably still explain a lot. Anyway, let's give it a go. Here we go. Um, I've forgotten this one already. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what have I learned today? What have I learned?
Nope, this one first. The rook. I used the wrong piece. I remembered it and I remembered it incorrectly. That's not good. Hmm. All my memories blend together, which does not help right now. Okay. Now I know I'm confused. There are two problems that look very similar, but have very different solutions. That's why I was so confused. That's a dragon. I know what the pieces are sometimes. Um.
<laughs> okay. Don't remember this one. Yeah, there they're supposed to take the piece, and they don't. Um, here we need this gold to mate. What was the decision I have to force them to make here? I think it was which way do they take my bishop was the question. Yeah. Oh, drop it out here. That's right. The first time I had that problem, it... Oh, goodness, I keep making that same mistake. Impulsively. In chess, there you would always promote. Almost always. In shogi, it's actually a decision that you need to think about before just instantly moving it. Yeah, I'm tired. I've actually lost interest somehow. I don't know how, but um, it's making it a bit harder to complete this when I'm not paying enough attention.
Interesting. I don't remember this one. It's because the first time around I solved that without any trouble. Just accidentally. What could this mean? Like, I solved this last time. Oh, right. Surround the king. That's the idea. Why do I need the king surrounded this time? Isn't it already surround? No, it's not. Hmm. Last time I guessed correctly. This time I guessed incorrectly on that.
Hmm. All right, silver here, gold there. I'm still confused. What's confusing me is sometimes when one solution or part of the solution um, gives you pieces back in hand. Um, but the correct variation does not. Oh, that's so dumb. This one, it's the horse that checkmates. Part of that is the way the promotion dialogue presents itself. Um, this doesn't make sense. Why is this so difficult? This is the one where we draw the king out to mate it. This is the one where I drop the rook because the other way doesn't work. 
This one I just continue to F up each time. Oh, there we are. Um, yeah, this time I just... That's an enormous whiff there that I missed that last time. All right, 25 minutes. I think that's an improvement over last time. I think last time we said 36 minutes or something. Uh, See, so yeah, I cut myself, cut myself off trying to explain one thing. The promotion dialogue shows you icons of which pieces you can choose to promote to. However, your cursor focuses on the promoted piece. And while in general, especially for this kind of challenge, that's great, um, you need to be super aware when you're wanting to not just click right through that. You need to have some awareness that, oh wait, I need to go find where the other box is on the screen that it has the picture of the unpromoted piece. Because that's not where my cursor is. That's not where the box around the piece that's like focused under my cursor is. I have to like move my eyes to the right to go find the unpromoted piece and then check. Yes, that's the one I want. I know it's a pain in the butt, but like what I would actually prefer is that the promotion dialogue were presented the same way it shows on 81 Dojo, where it doesn't gravitate toward either option even though almost always you're going to want to select promotion. Anyway, uh, yeah, 25 minutes. Let's say that's a good time because we got through 182 or 181. I don't know how this is styling and whether it's cutting off. But yeah, 25 minutes I think is my new record. Let's take a look. Yep, 25 minutes is my new record. It doesn't hold a candle to what other people do, but that's fine. I'm getting better, and I guess that's what I'm proud of. So, hopefully this shows just what practicing is like. There's a ton of these problems, and I wish that some of these collections weren't so enormous. Like here, there's 185 problems in one collection. The other day I, I did actually succeed through one of these and it took me 81 minutes. So maybe that's a good time. Lily got through this in 10 minutes, which is really impressive. But yeah, um, the timer is very severely distracting me and I need to just practice and getting better and not worrying about the timer. But that's a story for another day, I suppose. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.